okay guys in this video we'll be talking about density dependent inhibition okay now uh, what is density dependent inhibition density dependent inhibition is a process uh, normal process of our inside cell or tissue system where once uh, all the cells are filled in a particular area very small area of uh, production of tissue they halt their cell division process that's called the density dependent inhibition so everything is a name when the density is proper for the cell to reach they will inhibit their further cell division and growth so let's say this is a particular area of normal cell where the cells are growing when the cells reach at a particular density so let's say three layer system is the three layer tissue when they reaches this confirmed density there they will no longer grow and divide now why because those cells when they reach at a particular density if they grow further at this particular stage uh, the nutrition source is are limited in our body so if they reach or exceed the limit of their density so probably those cells will not get enough nutrition to survive or sometimes what happens different cellular processes are going on those process required many important signals from outside now if we can see a too much crowding is there between the cells so from where the signal will come because suppose the signaling molecule needs to come here for a cell to function properly now if a cell is too much crowded by other cells suppose it, it too much crowded by other cells those the signal won't come so the signal or signaling molecule won't come they just go away so the cell might not function properly due to remember two points I have told you one is the limited nutrients limited nutrients and and also uh, availability of signaling molecules right so due to majorly these two reasons they don't want to grow at a particular density or above a particular density that's why this density dependent inhibition is very much required for normal tissue so this is for normal tissue okay but what happens in case of cancer because cancer cells are managing this particular process to block because though in cancer cells they, they are not obeying the rule of density dependent inhibition they grow rapidly they grow faster and they just grow and grow and grow so that's the actual process of cancer so in case of cancer what we see that those cells are there and they are vigorously growing at a particular area not obeying the rule of density dependent inhibition so what is happening who are sir, giving the nutritional source right because these two problems again should be possible for cancer too so what happens here in, in case of cancer they are doing the process called angiogenesis so they bring the cell or blood vessel to come and to supply blood in different region there right by secreting some other chemical factors they secret some chemical factors wh which uh, chemical factors guide this this uh, the different uh, cell uh, blood vessel to come and grow over this particular tumorous region and that that is the, how, why they are getting the nutrient sources that is why they are getting the oxygen and they continue to live on right so that is the difference between the cancerous cell and a normal this is cancerous cell cancerous cell that's the difference between normal and cancerous cell but remember density dependent inhibition is a good and normal process to prevent the overgrowth and it is required it is very important guys but for cancer they don't obey obey this rule they just grow rapidly uh, according to their own uh, demand and they are going against it right so that's kind of it about density dependent inhibition thank you